Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, before we start, I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakwadash. My name is Tazim Akamaf. Shaquat Rakak. Brother Tazir Machsa. We come from the camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach this truth and Ruel. And we just have a quick class. We want to go into. Um, Obedience is the best thing to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Being obedient to the Lord, man, is, is better than anything on this in this earth right now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because hey, while we're in this truth, we're obedient to our power. You know, we're obedient to our power and, you know, to his law, statutes, and commandments. And we fear him. Mm -hmm. You know, we fear what he's about to bring upon um, all these people. You know, and, you know, even though we're in this truth, we still fear him because, hey, man, any hey shit, Lord willing, you know, he could take the spirit from us, you know, and that, you know, with that, you know, we become obedient to our power. All right. Doing the best we can for the Lord and, you know, being obedient is pleasing to him better than sacrifice. So we just want to go into it. Um, I have this definition of obedience. It says, um, obedience. It says, compliance with an order, request, or law, or submission to another's authority. All right. And then it says, um, all right, you go into the origin of it. It says to obey. Okay. So, we are, all right. So, we're obeying our power, you know, and we have, I have a scripture to go along with that. This is uh, 1 Samuel 15 and 22. And it says, And Samuel said, Have Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh? Behold, to obey is better than to, is better than sacrifice and to hearken. And it says, And to hearken than the fat of rams. Let's read that again. It says, 1 Samuel 15 and 22. It says, And Samuel said, have Yahweh as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of Yahweh? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. All right. So even the prophet Samuel, you know, he knew that obeying is better than sacrifice, man. You know, even though, you know, we make our bodies as a living sacrifice for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, also obeying is a good thing as well, man. You know, it's a, you know, a double portion. And it says, and to hearken then the fat of rams. So be able to listen and obey our power. You know, hey, it's better than sacrifice. It's better than anything else, man. Because the Lord could, could use you, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord could use you. Okay, you know how to obey your discipline. All right, I can use you, you know, as a vessel, as a key instrument. Yeah, can I say something? Go ahead. You know, um, you know, form of not, you know, obeying and uh, being disciplined is, you know, um, Samuel. I mean, Saul, not Samuel. Saul, when the Lord told him to go slay them Amalekites. Saul. Yeah, Saul. You know, when the Lord told him to go slay them Amalekites, and you know, he left one, bro. You know, he he wasn't uh, obedient. You know, he didn't listen to the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. another one is when that man went to go pick up them sticks on the Shabbat. You know, and the Lord took him out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Being obedient and listening to the Lord is everything. Because, you know, the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, it tells, you know, the whole, you know, whole duty, the whole matter of us being created was to fear the most high and keep his commandments, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, listening and uh, doing what he tells us, you know, to do precisely. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Those are perfect examples. You know, Rom Romans 15, uh. 15 and 4. Let me see if I can just grab it real quick. Well, yeah, man. <clears throat> Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, mm -hmm. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So, you know, we have examples of you know mistakes mm -hmm. and you know the correct way to do things man all right so as a brother he brought out the example of saul 
when the Lord gave him an order to, you know, wipe out these Amalekites that we got to deal with to fucking today. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> we got to deal with today. All right. You know, King Saul, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't really obey the Lord, man. Yeah. All right. But that came a consequence. The Lord took the spear away from him. Yeah. All right. And that's when King David came, became the anointed and, um, you know, and, you know, he became king. All right. Hey, but you see, obedience is better than sacrifice, man. You know, our forefathers, you know, if they didn't listen, man, the Lord can't use them. The Lord can't deal with them, man. Oh, you know what? That was a perfect example I brought up because uh, Saul, what he did, what the Lord told him to do was slay everything in the land. Don't bring nothing back. Slay everything and everyone. What he did was keep, you know, a portion of, you know, that was in, you know, in that land. And he also, you know, he he he, he saved it, you know, for, a, you know, a sacrifice to bring back. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord wasn't dealing with that, you know, because he totally went off. He did not listen at all, thinking that the Lord would be pleased, you know, with him bringing back, you know, the, those things what the Lord told him to destroy. You right. know what I'm saying? That's what obedience is everything, you know, to listen you know, and that cost that man his life, you know? It's costing that stuff. spirit, bro. Yeah, yep. You know, the Holy Spirit can't deal with you. He going to take it right from you, man. Mm -hmm. All right? To obey is better than sacrifice, man. Yep. All right? You see, in the fourth time, we had to sacrifice for our sins. Mm -hmm. See, by obedience, obeying the Lord, obeying our prophets. Man, obeying the prophets. Yeah, yeah. Hearing the word, because, you know, the Lord... Use the prophets to convey the message. Mm -hmm. You know, you obeying, you know, what the prophets telling you, warning you, mm -hmm. even you know, elder brothers and brothers in higher ranking than you, you you obeying that. Hey, you really obeying you how shy. You how about shooting all shy, man. Sorry, bro. And that's better than sacrifice, man. So you see we bring out examples for brothers to understand, hey man, obedience is a very it's gonna take you very far in this truth, man. Yep. All right, um, Shaquat, you get um, First John five and three. You can go ahead and read that as well. It's the book of First John, chapter five and verse three. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Right, it says for for this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments. All right, keep His commandments now. We can't keep it perfect, all right? There's 613 law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, but we, we rehearse it, okay? We do what's asked, all right? Mm -hmm. It says, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. That's really right. Cool. That's not hard. You know, Jake, you know, they make shit hard. <laughs> you know, it's very simple, mm -hmm. all right? The Lord didn't ask for much. Lord said, hey, go do a backflip and do, you know, the Lord ain't <laughs> asked all that shit, man. The Lord said, hey, go out, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Go on to the highways and hedges. Make your body a living sacrifice. You know, do the work as an evangelist. Despise not prophesying. Mm -hmm. You know, things of that nature, man. He ain't make it hard. He ain't make it grievous for, for us, man. All right? We got to make our calling and election sure. You know, a by obeying and following that commandments, you know, because that's a commandment. Whatever Yahweh Shai said in the New Testament, or uh, really the whole book, is the law, really. Yeah. Because you think about it, a the MOTB, the Lord commanded us not to take it. Yep. What is the consequence? We're gonna die by the indignation of His wrath. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a commandment. All right. And Lord will the Lord keep us um keep us in that spirit away from that. Yeah. All right, but hey, a commandment is, you know, to go out there and teach. You know, go out to the highways and hedges to feed the sheep. You know, Jake don't do that. Jake don't go out to the highways and hedges and teach. They go to them damn churches and fucking slaughterhouse fucking church. You know, the whore, just, whore houses and Yeah, the whorehouse. The, the demon house. Yeah. All right, the hey Jake don't do that, man. All right. Oh, you got something you want to add? Nah, bro. Kind of, you think you can grab um? Go to Ecclesiastes. Yeah, Ecclesiastes. All right, this is uh the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four, 
starting at verse uh, 16. And it says, If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Right, it says, If a man commit himself unto her, this her is talking about wisdom, yeah. Sophia. Yeah. And it says, He shall inherit her. All right. So you come abide to the Lord. Hey, the Lord going to deal with you. You know, you're, you're obeying. You you know, you're trying your best. Hey, you know, not eating uh, um, shrimp, you know, and yep. pork and lobster. and All that abominable shit. Yeah, all the abominable stuff, man. You're obeying the commandments. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord going to start dealing with you. That's right. You know, you're doing certain things, you know, as not as before. The Lord going to start dealing with you. He says he shall he shall inherit her. So wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it says, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways mm -hmm. and bring fear and dread upon him mm -hmm. and torment him with her discipline. Right. Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Right. So a hey, that's when um the Lord would test you with Satan. Mm -hmm. All right. A hey, Wisdom, hey, Sophia, Sophia want to see how, how you handle things, Yeah, you know, in in this walk, especially in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, how you handle things. Are you going to be disciplined? Yep. You know, are you going to obey? All right, I'm going to throw a little test at you. The Lord said, all right, I'm going to throw a test at you. Here. Yep. You're going to see if you're going to use Sophia, man. You're going to, you know, if you're a man of uh, integrity. Right. Are you going to obey? Mm -hmm. You know, hey, we fumble all the time. But you know what I'm saying? But hey, you want you want the spirit of wisdom to be with you. Rakakwadash, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding yeah. to be with you. So hey, so, so she said that um for at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways. Mm -hmm. All right, all your your fuck ups before you got in this truth. Yep. And bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hey, when we mess up, hey, what Hey, Sophia going to discipline you, all right, by, you know, trying you, you know, getting in your head and, you know, hey, when you get chastised, mm -hmm. you know, that nature, okay, bring fear and dread upon him, all right, hey, imagine you, you do something, you know, you're not supposed to be doing, you have that thought of, damn, bro, I, fuck, I don't want to do that shit, yeah, like, I feel like I'm about to die, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> that's that that's fear of, fear of yeah, bro, like, you feel like, man, what that scripture says the beginning of wisdom is, or the fear is the beginning of wisdom or something like that? Kind, fear, the fear of the Lord the is the beginning, beginning of wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, you ever had that, that feeling like... The Lord off your ass right then and there, bro. Yeah, the Lord going to off you or take the spirit from you. Yeah, that's scary. That shit is scary. So the Lord yeah. try like, he put that fear upon you. That, Damn, But that's that yeah. sorrowful spirit. Yeah, that is. You know, you start repenting, mm -hmm. you know? And it says, um, it says, and torment him with her discipline... Until she may trust his soul mm. and try him by her laws. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 18. <clears throat> then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show her Shlakia, and show him her secrets. That's okay. fire, bro. Hey, right. That's then she will return the straight way unto him and mm. comfort him by what? The scriptures. Yeah, man. You know, by the, you know, hey, the brothers. Brothers, my throw scriptures out there or you might listen to a lesson and brother bring out comforting scriptures hey man it's all right man we fuck up i just fucked up mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i'm not perfect yeah you know they bring out comforting scriptures they're like oh okay the brother going through the same thing yeah. hey man hey you know we just had um visit uh gms temple mm -hmm. you know the elder from connecticut was out there and he had mentioned um he had mentioned how man hey the other apostles man hey don't don't be discouraged brothers He's like, man, they're going through the same thing you going through mm -hmm. or you went through. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That shit was comforting, bro. Because I'm like, damn, like these are the elders and apostles. Like they've been here for almost damn near four decades doing this truth. Yeah. You know, and uh, shit, he, he said that. I'm like, damn, OK, man, we equal. Like we going through the same hell. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, shit, I felt better, bro. Because like we go through hell, bro. Yeah. Different shit, different thoughts. You know, discouragement, you know, shit, my worthy, all that, you know, that shit, like mortal thoughts. Yeah. You know, and this is fucking demons, bro. Yeah. And, you know, the, our elders and apostles, they go through the same shit, bro. 
And they've been here for four decades, bruh. Mm -hmm. Damn near. Almost touching. That's right. All right. But it says, and, and comfort him and show him her secret. So, hey, the scriptures say, um, the Lord will show his secrets unto his servants, the, the prophets. prophets. Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto him, sir, his servants, the prophets, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And these secrets weren't given to ordinary men, you know? Secrets were given to those, all right, for, uh, what's that one scripture says, uh, it is for you to know the kingdom of heaven or something like that? Oh, yeah, the mysteries. Yeah, the mysteries, bro. Let's that's, grab it. Let's that's grab the it. secrets, man. You know? Let's grab it. But first, you got to be proved, you know, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, gain Sophia. Right, man. Sophia not going to just hop on any nigga. Yeah, just, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Lord got to see if I could deal with you. Mm -hmm. you you're going to obey. You, you're going to obey me. You're going to, you know, you're going to fear me. Yeah. That's what the Lord looking for. Mm -hmm. But this is the, the scripture the brother quoted. It says, uh, Matthew 13 and 11. And it says... He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. but to them it is not given. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, man. Hey, we got the mystery. Yeah. You know, the mystery is not revealed to everybody. Yeah. You know, the secret is not revealed to everybody. Because, mm -hmm. hey, what's one of the secrets? His name. His name, yeah. Scripture yeah. says, what is his name and what is his son's name, if thou can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, and that them secrets, bro, uh, you know, what a lot of people, a lot of people don't got wisdom. Right. You know, it don't, old age don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't, it don't matter what age you is. You know, you could be five, man, seven. You know, the Lord put that spirit of wisdom on you, man. You know, it was just, you know, you got it. Right. And, um, you know, one of the secrets is, you know, um, prophecy. Yeah. The right. testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. prophecy. Yep. All right, hey, prophecy, man. be able to know nukes coming to destroy this land. The MOTB is, you know, the C hip. Yep. All that stuff, man. You just, people don't got that spirit, man. Yeah, not not be in the dark, you know. When the, you know, when the Lord come like a thief in the night. But Scripture says he ain't going to come like a thief in the night to us because we, we know. Right. You know, that's that's the secret as well, too, man. We're, we're, we're well aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And when the, all shit hit the fan, we're going to be giving all praise to y'all by Shemion Shai. That's right. Why all Shai? right. So obedience is better than sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. Always obey your power, man. Right. Jake, do not not obey their power. That's why they're in the fucking shithole situation. Mm -hmm. All right. We are already in the... We, and the scripture said we, hey, we get chastened, you know, so we don't get judged with the world. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So, hey, what we going through now, we going through complete hell. How much more Jake, when they don't, when they're not going through hell now, oh wait goodness. until Jacob's trouble, bro. Oh, my goodness. And we going to be straight because we already gone, we already went through our hell. Yeah, because we listen. That's all you, bro. That's all you got to do. Listen. Listen, bro. Repent. It was that simple. Listen, bro. You know, the prophets tell you, hey, repent. Mm -hmm. Come back and turn to Yahweh Shai. Yep. And what and what Jake do? Despise the Lord. It gets stiff necked. You know? get stiff -neck. Yeah. Hey, that's our people, man, you know. Right. You got this fucking this fucking niggard. Charleston. Charleston fucking white. I did a video on his ass too. <laughs> okay. Bro. This dumbass nigga said, I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not no fucking Hebrew Israelite. I'm a nigga. Yeah, bro. Hey, but listen, nigga, you a Hebrew Israelite. Yep. Whether you know it or you don't, yep. it's your nationality. It's your fucking birth. You can't change it. Nigga. You can't change it. You already been born into it. Yeah. You're just so fucking ignorant to not know you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know you're not obeying the prophets. Hey, they told you you were Israelite. Yeah. They're like, nah, y'all niggas could be Israelite. I'm gonna be a nigga and serve Esau. Yeah. You know, that's how you sound. You hey, two thirds of the niggas gonna man, two thirds of our people gonna fucking die, man. Perish, bro. You know, and I ain't gonna feel and we ain't gonna feel bad for y'all, man. Y'all fucking deserve it, man. Christian says in Proverbs, bro, what? You know, we're gonna laugh. Yeah, we're gonna laugh at your calamity. When, you, when, you're, you're when your fear, fear cometh. Comes, you know? We're gonna mock your <laughs> ass, you know? For real. At, at, at de and uh in Job the fifth chapter, hey. He said, at, at death and famine, thou shalt laugh. Yeah, man. Uh, why? Because you ain't, ob he ain't obey you. How about shim y'all shot, man? Mm -hmm. You ain't took heed of the warning, man. Crazy, man. Your sacrifice is worthless. 
All right. Sheesh, dang, for real, bro. Your sacrifice is worthless. When you come and hey, Lord, Lord, wait, ah. Oh. Is crackling. Lord gonna look at you. Knee slappers, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look, when you going through that and you gonna be saying, Lord, Lord, help me, you know, hey, what we gonna hey, what the Lord gonna look at you and say? You ain't obey me. I don't know you. Damn. What you done for me? What you did where's your sacrifice for me? That's gonna hurt, man. For real, that's bro. Hey, that's the scriptures, bro. The Lord gonna recite it, man. You know it says, um, damn, wasn't it in the it's in the book of Matthew somewhere? But it's all right though. But. Oh, come, on, but it's like he said, hey, the Lord gonna be like, man, where, where's this? You, what, what you done for me? What's your sacrifice for me? Oh, it was like, Lord, Lord, and he was like, oh, uh, come on, depart I'll... from me, I not, I do not know thee. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it real quick. Let's see. Let's get it real quick. Oh, let's see that one. Come on, bear with us real quick. Come on. No. Let's see where it's at. Where is that before I would make the most new ice? Yeah, where is it at? No, it's in the book. So I found it. This is Matthew 7, and uh, you can start at 21. Matthew 7 and 21. Go ahead and read it. Okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Iniquity is sin upon sin, bro. Yeah, and these are jakes that know the Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, shit, they ain't no bay. Right? You read verse 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But it says, But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So we obeying the, you know, the will of the Father by doing the work, by repenting, by feeding the sheep, as the Lord commanded us to do, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, but, you know, a lot of Jake... They do the work, but they they don't have the right um the right mindset. Yeah, you know they don't have the right intentions. Mm -hmm. So you just work in iniquity. You're not prof. You're not profitable. Yeah, you false prophets. You know these these Christians that you know that think the Lord is gonna come back for them. You know, right. you know they all in that bunch, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man, y'all y'all brothers got anything else? Nah, I ain't got anything else, bro. Come man. Lord Willis lesson been edifying. Wanna give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kakwadash. So next time we say Shalom. Shalom.